Have you ever wondered how this plant called tobacco is planted here in Uganda? What is its value to the people who live around? Have you ever wondered why the Ankole cow has huge horns and what's its benefit to us human beings? Have you ever wondered what makes the different scenarios look the way they are? Go on me on a quest to discover how tobacco is grown in Uganda, its purposes, why the Ankole cow has the huge horns. Learn with me. <music> Guys, welcome to my channel, Lighthouse of Mothers. So today, I'm on my way to southwestern Uganda in the Albertine Rift. And the district where I'll be located will be Hoima district. So, we met this uncle cattle in the US. They call them the Texas long horn cattle. In Rwanda, they're called the Watusi cattle. Look how beautiful they are with those long horns. We were told that the horns help them with blood circulation. As we get closer, you'll see an up close and a personal experience with a wild variety of exotic and pump animals in this area. You see them, how they spend their day, how they graze, how they take their water, how they are milked, and so forth. Guess what? In this, we get products which are so good and delicious, milk, ghee, hide and seek. And... In Bunyoro, it's believed that if someone has over 50 of these uncle cows, it's a sign of wealth and that person is rich or like a chief. Hmm. Plants which you kind of I didn't understand. Later, my friend told me they are tobacco plants. They look so attractive and so beautiful. So we made a stop over there. And to my surprise, I was informed that they are, this plant is a cash crop in the regions of West Nile in southeastern Uganda. And normally people plant them because they are of good economic, economic value. So we were later informed that uh, growing tobacco starts in a nursery bed for two months, then to the garden for three months plus harvesting time and when these plants are harvested they require a shaded area which you will see in this video where they are dried so that the humidity stays up as they dry that's the way the the buyers need it we pose the question why do you guys plant tobacco as the main cash crop and they informed us that they resorted to planting tobacco because uh, they they have been having challenges with animals like chimpanzees baboons monkeys and different birds that eat their crops so tobacco is an alternative because neither of those animals eat them and because tobacco gives them an allowance to be in position to plant also other crops because the way it is planted it leaves a gap where you could plant like a maize crop and by the time the these animals reach them they are tired and exhausted so they move to other areas to pick the different foodstuffs that they require Mchunde. Mchunda. You see, I enjoy myself with silver. <laughs> it's called River Wambapia and it's a water catchment for Lake Alba. Just see it with me. 